Hello, everyone. Welcome to Bogo's Barbecue. <laughs> I've been working on my barbecue for a while, but today I'm going to be put to the test. The team's lined up a special guest for me to prove my cooking and hosting chops. No pressure. Bogo! What's up? <laughs> Thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks so are we uh, are we doing the questions first, or are we actually uh, barbecuing first? Well, we're going to start with the meat, get that going. We'll get it on the grill. And then after that, we'll get to the... OK, that's good. That's good, because I'm kind of counting on this. I skipped breakfast and lunch. You've had a long day. I have. I have. I'm starving, so... Well, hopefully it's... Don't f*** this up. All right, I'll try my best. Now. OK, good. <laughs> so my first question for you. Did you play hockey growing up? I did play hockey. I'm from Minot, North Dakota. Hockey's a very big sport there. Yeah. We didn't have a lot to do. I had a, actually had an ice rink in my backyard from like third grade on. We had we had ice rinks on the river behind our house before that. Mm -hmm. Played hockey. Then I got too tall and skinny around <laughs> seventh grade. I had to pick between hockey and basketball, and I picked basketball. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you were to rate your skating skills today, what do you got? Oof. Um, better than they were last year at this time. Okay. Because I just did the Mighty Ducks That's right. series. Yeah. And uh, I had to learn how to skate again. I was supposed to be like a former pro. Try going 33 years without skating. It's yeah, not that's like riding tough. a bicycle. It's like riding a, a unicycle. I'll be honest with you. When I like, if, even if I take a couple of days off. Really? F trying to find my edges, it really? takes a little. Yeah. Like if you take like a little break, it takes you like a hot like. 15, 20 minutes. Really? Like find your edges. Yeah, so you can imagine it'd been like at least so 30, 30, 30 years, years. I would be, I would be in one. I was I like not. Bambi. Yeah, I would, I would be, uh, I'd be struggling for sure. No, I don't know about that. I don't know if I believe that. I don't know why my hands are so greasy. I can't turn this. Here. I got you. Yeah, you got it. Professional hockey. Here we go. You got the grip strength. Look at that. <laughs> Look at there that. you go. Yeah. I like a lot of pepper. Do you? Love it. Let's get the mouth fired this up. This is great. <laughs> How's that? You tell me when. Perfect. Have you ever had any barbecue mishaps? Plenty. I've had uh, multiple 10 foot flames above my grill. <laughs> I had a brisket for like July, I think it was July 4th. Probably like 15, 20 people come over the house mm -hmm. like in our neighborhood back in Minnesota, which I know you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. And I was on a timeline of when I needed my brisket to be done, which <laughs> sometimes it can take a while and it got stuck. Wait, so it. you started it, then went off and visited some friends and- Yeah, and then I came back and it was like not quite the temperature I needed it to be. Yeah. I decided probably like 13 hours into this brisket cook that I was gonna crank the heat up just to make sure it really got yeah. to 204 degrees. Yeah. Sailed right past 204. It was like, I looked out and it was flames oh. everywhere. I was- So eating. the brisket was- It was toast. Oh. It was not good. It tasted like a piece of fire. That sucks. Yeah, but that was like my big mishap i mean it happens all the time like when i'm in the backyard like doing stuff whatever blah blah yeah. but like to do it in front of like 20 people i was like <laughs> oh no i'm supposed to be the barbecue guy oh, God. They, it sucked you have no idea yeah. how many barbecues i've messed up yeah all right so what would be your perfect day my perfect day is at my cabin in minnesota okay I kind of live for that place, man. It's like, uh, it's become my happy place. Yeah. We spent the last 15 plus years sort of shaping it. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a, I had a couple bobcat tractors and skid steers and we've been moving dirt and popping rocks and stumps and kind of getting it into shape. And finally it's to a place where it's really, really fun. It's not so much work yeah. anymore as much as it is you don't have some fun. Yeah, men and power tools. It just, it's just my, it's truly my fun. happy place, Great. man. It's I just amazing. love it. What, so what are your, like, what's your workout routine right now? What's my workout routine? Yeah. Bicep Bun curls. lattes? Bi <laughs> Bicep curls. So what I'm doing right now is I do a lot of hot yoga, actually. I never thought I'd say that, but I do. I love it. It's kept my back and my knees. I'm 50 now. Yeah. You don't so, look, you look great. Well, thanks, man. I got a lot. I got a lot of grays. So, what's this? So what these. Do cool? you make those out of hockey sticks? So these. Look how cool this is. Oh my god. So it's my actual stick. I mean, Bacotian. like you, you know, how we get like our name. Our sticks. It reminds me of a name you might see in like The Godfather. Bacotian. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm Armenian, not quite Italian, but I'm actually the only Armenian to ever play in the NHL. No way. First and only. Are you kidding me? First, first one ever, only one ever, so far. Hopefully, That's incredible. Hopefully a little Armenian kid is watching this and you you can do it. Hey, Bogosian. So yeah, this is like my actual stick. I'm assuming that I broke it in a game. 
they just like sawed it down, put a spatula in it, and then now I have my That's own beautiful, man. my own personal little uh, spatula, little awesome. fork. It's great. The gojin right there, you see that? Love that. Uh, so, what would be like? What's your favorite sports memory? I remember my freshman year in in, in college. I wasn't a highly recruited. I, I actually played in the same school that I that I went to high school. Mm -hmm. I went to Mana High and then I went to Mana State. Yeah. So nobody was really expecting much. My freshman year, I got in and, and threw for like 200 yards and like three touchdowns in the fourth quarter of this game. And I was like, that was like my, was like, oh my God, I'm going to be a professional athlete. Be yeah. Out. And then reality set in. I, was like, <laughs> I wasn't nearly athletic enough. But you know, I just, I just lived for sports. Well, you have a build for it. Like you're, do I, you can tell you're athletic. Yes. You do have a build for it. You do. I could, I see, I could see you under center, just <laughs> slinging the ball downfield. I, 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 I used to have a gun. I, I would believe it. If you, if you say you have a gun, I, I, I would believe that you have a gun. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's debatable. I, I, my, my coaches might not agree. Yeah. OK, so this is going to feed a lot of people. Is it just going to be you and me, or have we had anybody else coming? I think we have one more guest, and I, I think he's here. Really? Yeah. It's uh, Pat Maroon, the big rig. Ooh. So here we go. I like that, dude. Oh, oh, what's man. up, Gordon Bombay? How you doing, brother? <laughs> Mr. Maroon. Bogo, how are you? Thanks for having me. I don't me. know Thanks if we have enough coming, food buddy. all of a sudden. <laughs> you, you can eat, though. I can drink. Yeah, that's a, cheers to that. Cheers. cheers.